Hi there, this is Fixed It. This is a teardown of a Sphero bolt, which is the most expensive and the most impressive of the Sphero range. First thing I need to do is to get inside the device, and I figured out a way to do that without destroying it. So let me just open it for you. And there we go. Unfortunately, I did get some damage here on the seam. Um, but that is the, the bolt open, so let's get it out of its container. The reason for doing this obviously is if I close that and with some glue that spheral bolt is as new. You'll see some videos online where people are just hacksawing and cutting into these with hot wire and stuff and completely destroying the polycarbonate shell but I don't do that. So there we go, we're into the spheral bolt. So what does it consist of? So on the top is this multi-LED panel, on the side are two side wheels which are sprung, which are to allow the Sphero to spin and not move around too much inside the ball. There's a couple of drive wheels on the bottom, and then there's this very large lump of metal and a coil, and this is basically for charging the Sphero. So the first thing you need to do once you've got it open is you need to gently force down these two arms. You can hear them go, try not to damage the aerial at the same time. There we go, so they come out like a pair of ears. And now what we're going to do is to remove the two screws that are holding the LED panel in place. Be very careful when you're doing this because you actually want the screw to drop away from the Sphero because you don't want it touching any of the other metal contacts. So just put that somewhere safe. You spin it around, get the other screw, and again make sure that when the screw drops away it doesn't touch the printed circuit board of the Sparrow. Because even though this battery is pretty much dead, there's still some power in it and you don't want it to go on any of these tracks or components because it could short out the Sphero. Having done that, you now should be able to lift off very gently this Sphero LED panel. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that around the outside edge, there are these pins for connectors. And directly underneath there, there are multiple pins. So what you want to do is to take something plastic and insert it under the side very gently and twist. And go around the edge and twist. Take your time. There is no rush. Okay. And then you're ready to lift that off. One of the things to note before you lift it off is that there's a word Sparrow on there and that the aerial is pointing towards the word Sparrow. Okay, so the tip of this aerial points to there. You want to make sure it goes back in the same way because it will go back in the other way. Underneath there we've got a plastic panel. So again, get me a piece of plastic and get that underneath the panel and twist at both ends and twist and now inside there you've got the battery and you've got the battery connector so let's just zoom in we can see that that battery is a 3.7 volt 1250 milliamp hours 4.625 watt hours and it's a lipo polymer battery and it's quite large the other spheros tend to have quite small batteries in them and there's usually a pair but this is one large battery again using the plastic tool you can go and you can move that around and then you can take that out. So let me just grab 
grab the cable very gently and see if I can lift this out. There we go. So that's the battery I'm going to have to get from eBay or somewhere else and replace. And as you can see, it's a three wire LiPo battery, which means basically it'll have a, a negative and a positive. And then it's also got a thermistor in there. And the, the reason for that is that when you charge a battery that's this large there's a possibility of overheating and that will cut off the overheating and prevent the battery getting damaged or bursting into flames okay so now i'll go online and i'll order one of these batteries and in part two i'll replace the battery and i'll put the sphero back together and then i'll test it before i eventually put it back inside its polycarbonate sphere and glue it closed. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see part two. Thanks for watching. Bye. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.